hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel we are going to continue from where we stopped in our previous video so before we continue if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please make sure you click on the subscribe button below and then make sure you also click on the notification bell beside this so that you will get notified anytime i upload any new video so now let's continue uh in the, in our previous video in part two of this uh, uh, of this tax we, we actually created a readme file we insert some text into the readme file and we push it to our digital upper cart so now in this tutorial we are going to create a directory as instructed we're going to create it then add another readme to uh, readme inside it then push it to online so again so let's get started so before you um before you create a directory make sure you are make sure you are in your root folder so let me go back let me go to my root folder now i'm using the black um i'm using a black uh, screen again so i need to go back to my root folder now let me see so the cd m my name cross so the name of my own root folder is my new course just to be als pre course make sure anywhere you see anywhere you see my new course make sure you replace with ALS pre course please make sure it's very 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 important so um so now we have to create a directory so let's create it and okay the the i have any find the name of the directory okay let's check so we have the directory here in the right way. So they they asked us to create a an non empty a non empty with me inside the inside the new directory that you just created. So for us to do that, move to the main directory. So to do that, you press CD. That is the name of the directory. So now we are there. So make sure it's showing something like this. So we are there now. So now let's create the readme and use touch touch read readme.md so now we have it there let's check so it's there it is here inside the directory now so now they are we have they are sort of make make it more empty so for us to for us for it not be end not to be empty you you insert some some lines of code and uh, some lines of text to it so let's do that now echo my readme let's just use that so inside the readme dot md so we are done so let's check for you to check you type cat readme dot md so now we have it here now that our directory and the readme file is available now so you can push to this is now and then use your code checker to check if you're on the last part so now let me let me explain how you can push it online and check for you to push it online just by just by dt okay now dt comments comments rather comments with let's see just a, a new comments Oh no, I made a mistake. I didn't include this. So yeah, we are done. So after you get that, so then you put C D I T rather push. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Martin Virus just um blocked my access. So let me actually fix that and we try. So now this is how we gonna this is what we want to do to do now. Just push. I know it's already done, so I know it's done already. <clears throat> so it's done already. So it's showing me everything is up to this. Now, <clears throat> now you can go to your code checker on your tax and they check if you're on the right path or not. So if you if you are getting this right, congratulations. And if you need more help, you can just drop into the comment below. We reach out to you and think of how we can solve it together. <laughs> so
So now we are going to move to the next part on how to how to we also to create some additional directories and some files inside. So that's what we, that's what we are going to be doing now. The astros for the moment we have an empty we have an empty project directory containing only readme file. It is time to code. So now inside the astro inside this directory we should we should create we should create this directory again bash c and a js so this is how to make sure you are still in this directory so now let's create we type mk der we type bash is okay. there so we type mk dir we type um c is okay. there then we type mk dir js is there so now let's check maybe they are all there it's good you can see can see we are all there now we are supposed to create an empty file c function inside c then to create main js inside js then it should be index.js inside js again so now let's do that so let's first create the the new file for c which is you go into the C folder by typing C D C. <coughs> so you are in C. I can see you are in C. Type the name of the the name of the file um, that you have to do. You have to create this C. Like this, like this. Just you can copy it. To do that, let's come back to here. Then you type push C underscore is underscore pop fun dot C. That's it. Let's check. Yeah, it's already there. It's there now. <clears throat> so now let's go back. Let's look for the next suggestion. There's also create so two two other um files inside the inside the JS. So let's go to our JS. Sorry, I mistakenly go back to the, the um file. So let me go back to my root folder. Let me go back to my root folder, then to my JS folder. C D and C Okay, now I'm back now. So let me now go back to my JS folder. DP, yes. So now my JS folder. I need my JS folder now. So the also to create main and the index. Let's go back there to check. That will create main and the index the JS. So now that's what we are going to do now. <clears throat> to create that, you press touch, then you tell me dot js, then the touch dot index dot js. Let's check ls. So they are there already. Wow. So now, what's the next instruction? Let's check for the next instruction. The next instruction is to create the next way to create a file ls. In those two words inside in this these two words inside this and this on this on the two line they also be on the two line the two that means they are they also be together they have to be on the separate line so to do that this is what you are going to do let's move to us um bash file cd bash ah sorry let me go back i have to go back to i have to go back to this directory to do that before I can choose um bash. So to do that I have to press C D. So I'm back there now. Yeah, no. So now 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 type C D C D bash. So I'm in my bash folder. Make sure you are getting all those things. They are very simple. Just only just know the days. That's 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 what the what, what matters. So make sure you are back in your in your um bash folder. So after them, we are supposed to create those two lines of text. So to do that, we type first of all, let's type echo. Echo. Let's create the first line by typing echo sign dollar sign this. So hash this last line bin. Slash, slash, slash. Then we also to create this inside. 
So this one is already there. I hope by now you should all know what this means. And if you don't know, you can go back to the previous one to check. So I hope you that one. Let's check. Let's check. Maybe it's, it's there. Can't hear yeah, this. So you can see that the first line is there. Now to create the second line of code, which is to create echo echo ALS. So these are these are to do that. You put echo. Then you put open bracket. You type the, 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 new, the new echo that you also to insert. Let's inside. Then you close the two. You put the two. You put two. Two greater than there. Then you add ALS. So it should be done. So let's check now. Cards. ALS. So now you can see that you have the two lines now. So um, let's check what's the next. Is, the next one to create is a, a file school. These two lines again. These two lines inside. So let's let's do that again. Let's do that. Inside the bash, you create another file touch school. So so this one you will type there. This one you will type there. Then you enter. Let's check. Let's check maybe the first one is there. Cut school. Yeah, is there? Then let's let's insert the second one, which is echo. Echo. School. Close the brackets. This one, you close it. Many types of So now let's check. At school. Now we have the two lines there. So let's check for the next instruction. Then add those new files to this or then use the commits, use the message commits start, starting to code today. Comma, then so cool. So that's the word they are sort to use. So let's do that. Come back to my desktop. Uh, IT add. B I T commit this and then you type the command that you ask for to insert here. You type the name there, you type the name there. This DIT commit, then you type starting to code today. Command so cool. You close it, you enter. So you get this, then you push DIT push. <clears throat> so now our 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 tax is done now you can go to your gt and um, git up account to, to confirm then go to your code checker to run to check to check maybe what we have done here is um is um is actually correct if you if it's correct congratulations and if you need more help you can drop it in the comment below we we'll reach out to you and and look on how to solve it together so i will end this video here and create the next um and continue the next part in the next video so if you are not subscribed to this youtube channel make sure you subscribe so that you will get notified every time i upload any new video thank you guys for watching